Yes, I have a special guest in the studio with me, someone who's a comedian, content creator, and uh, has just continued to do amazing things in the online space. Uh, your name was Nasty Black, but your real name is... Emmanuel <laughs> I would never have tagged you for an Emmanuel. I don't know where it's... <laughs> so where the hell does Nasty Black come from? The name, <clears throat> Nasty okay. Black. I feel like the black has to do with my color, like... Was it a nickname like, you had, or no, you just... No, just black. The black is just like, I'm dark, so... But the Nasty is... Uh, you know, like, I'm just a young kid, just trying to get, like, a cool name. I don't, I'm not going to lie, there's no extra... There's meaning. no interesting story to it. Just, just, just find a name. Just Nasty Black. Oh, yeah, it looks interesting. <laughs> like, when did this start for you? Yeah, okay, I went back in 2016, so I was doing it. So, like, I like I saw um, Chris Clown. Okay. So, I was seeing that thing. So, I was like, oh, yeah, I know I'm this fun guy, but I never knew that it, uh, we could actually do it in a video format. So Were you funny already, or did you know you were funny? I was already? like a class clown, to be oh, okay. honest. So, okay. like, you know, I don't know, in, in every class back then in school, there's this there's guy, that, one guy that really trying to make everybody laugh. So, then I'm like, okay, fine, I can actually put this thing in video. As in, Chris Clown is giving us a hint that, oh, we can actually also do this in video. So, I started in 2017, I started doing it. Well, 2016, I was just joking, but 2017, I started giving it my yeah. all and all. What school were you in? Uh, I was in, okay, uni. Uh, I didn't go to full-time school because of my craft. I don't want to go to full-time. So I did a uh, South American um, University, like their program. I did that. Uh, then I attended a class, but it's, it's a part-time. Oh, okay. Yeah, weekends. From Monday to Friday, I do my content. Saturday, Sunday. So 2017, what happened? What, what, what started exactly? What was the first? Okay, like what started was like me accepting that, okay, fine, I just, I want to do it. You know, like there's some time, like the talent thing, you do it, let me, let me do it once in a while. But 2017, I'm like, you know what? I love this thing, I'm, I'm going to go hard for it. So 2017, 2018, then 2018, that's when all my content went viral. 2018? Yeah. 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 So, that's when, that's when the blowing started. Mm -hmm. No, so, you know, the social media space is kind of funny. It might go viral today. Then nothing they, will happen nothing again. Will happen. <laughs> then until another time. So that 2018 ending, it's so, you know, in the beginning. So, so like a content went viral. But before that content went viral, I said, God, after making this video, if it does not go viral, I'm quitting. I'm done. But deep down, I know you just talk. I love the con I love the comedy thing. I like, whether it's making money or not, I just love doing it. So, so 2018, there was a video I showed that I had to take a, a video. Um, seen underwater. I couldn't afford the camera that could go underwater, but the, the iPhone 7 Plus could go underwater. So my friend, is, I don't even have an iPhone there. So my friend gave me his phone. So after shooting, and I never knew that it has durations, how long you can stay underwater. So the phone got spoiled. So I had to go and fix food. And I'm not even start making money from skit. I'm fixing phone already. I'm like, God, this one does not blow. I'm not doing again. <laughs> but I posted it then three days later. I started on Twitter. And they just commented different people that are coming down there. Yeah. What well, point did you realize, or when did you start making money from this? I think that was 2019. Yeah, 2019. The first time you I got, got paid. I got paid. I'm like, so it took you about two years yeah, to build. Yeah, to, yeah. yeah. So I got, I started going, I'm like, hey. What was your first check? <laughs> it's not a big no, it's fine. What was it? It's not that big. <laughs> it's not that big. If like, I had like <laughs> this income bank. How much? You don't pass now. You should it's be proud of it. I collected like seventy-five k. I was feeling like okay. the baddest nigga in my hood. I'm like, I'm like, bro, I'll buy your house now. Don't talk to me now. Seventy-five k owner. Come on now. You got to rate me now. <laughs> I'm feeling like God. <laughs> Like what, what was the lockdown period like for you? Because for a lot of creative people, it, it went either way. So people used it and made a lot of money, got more creative. A lot of people went into a funk where it was just like they couldn't express themselves. What was it for you? I would say, to be very honest here, yeah, as much as I didn't like the COVID thing, but see, I still have to give God the glory because it was like a breaking, like it was like a breakthrough. For you, brother, yeah. oh, so it was so, a good time for you. So a good time for me because you know, like people like we are home, so like a, like a, a whole lot of people like have time to like pay attention to. Oh, this is black guy. You see, but let me really calm down. Watch his video. Oh, so yeah. that's when you get like more comments, more views. You would see the statistics that more uh, like more video because you can see your analysis higher, from yeah. so it's higher. Like more time spent on your pay, more profile visits, more engagement, more comments, and uh, there's more like more companies are reaching out that oh yeah, let's do this because they couldn't do things outside and the content space is really nice in the sense that you can create within your space you don't need to go outside yeah some content quite but like you can still do something in your space you don't yeah. need much for sometimes so how much do you charge now 
No, I can't really say that. <laughs> what's, what's the range? I asked this because mm -hmm. it's going to lead me to my next couple of questions. Because, yeah. you know, a lot of you content creators, especially you comedy guys, are under fire now online. And I'm using that very tamely. No, the thing for is the this. fact that you guys seem to be spending a lot of money on interesting things. You guys are buying a car every other day, right? moving into a new house every other day. So people are wondering, do these people actually make that much money? Uh, to be very honest, I feel like every day I open a blog, it's content creator moves into a house, content creator buys new car. <laughs> so it's confusing for a lot of people. Yeah, that's so, why I ask that. So the thing is this here: yeah, I believe in every craft that people do. If you put energy into it and put yeah. hard work into it, you will get paid. And yes, content is something that uh, you know. Um, what I feel like the audience still don't understand is they don't know that there are several streams of income in this thing. It could be an advert, brand deals, brand endorsement, uh, monetization on YouTube and Facebook. So there are different ways these people are making money and people don't even know this thing. So for example, I believe very few people understand what YouTube, what YouTube can do to your life, what Facebook can do to your life. They just believe that, oh, they're making money. They don't really study like, how much do YouTube really pay these people? When you see, you understand that, oh, these people are actually making money. I believe that everywhere that else, and so these crafts that is as big as people see them, they're making money. But I can't say the exact figure, but I believe everybody's Okay, so not you now. Are you, is it possible for a content creator to make over 10 million naira a month? Yeah, but you know, you're really getting to me. Yeah? <laughs> you're really getting to me. I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I don't believe that they're making money. People that are buying those kind of cars and get <laughs> So people are really making money. You bought cars as well? Yeah, I bought cars. You've moved into your house? Yeah. Exactly. So it means you're making no, that much money. I didn't buy money. a house, though. I moved into a house. Okay, you didn't buy the house. No, I didn't you buy the house. You just moved into a house. Why did you cut your hair? It was one of the first things I wanted to ask you when you came. Oh, yeah. So basically... Because it's a... Is that an interesting story? Because no. your hair has been part of your identity for Yeah, long. true. You know, like... To be honest, aside from me creating content with the hair, because I made a video with hair that had over, like, millions of views, because my hair love like, one did he really cut his hair, which made a lot of views for me. But I was tired. One day I just walked up to the mirror, I won't lie. I took his house and started cutting my hair. So I cut, I didn't, I didn't know why I just did it. I just, one morning I just did it. Then I realized, oh, now I've messed up my hair, so let me cut the hair. But before I cut the hair, let me build a story, a content around this hair before I lose it. Everything about me is content. Every little opportunity I get is just use, I create something out of it. Yeah. So, so you're not going back, or this is your new identity? Yeah, but I'm coming back. I want a full afro now, I don't want to, because it was a cycle before. Oh, OK. Because yeah. I, I saw a theory, you know, social media always has very interesting conspiracy theories okay. about the fact that there's a lot of EFCC harassments now and, you know, NDLEA, and they profile people with hair yeah. like that. Was, that. was that one of the reasons why you decided to take it up? Because no. you notice a lot of celebrities have been attacked recently. Yeah, 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 yeah me too, actually. But like, exactly. But that's not one of the reasons. I, I just, that's the, the, like the reason that I stated was what happened. But the EFCC thing, if, if that was the reason, I could have come here like a long time ago because there's a time in my life. But you were harassed was, a lot. I go slap normally on the road, like, back before the, oh, knife, knife, I, I be that comedy guy. Like, oh, no verse. Before I bought my car, like, the police hit my car, they scratch my car with a gun. When they realize, oh, now you brought no verse, no verse, now I'm like, so what is it not be me? But that's not the head tension. Sure. But it's not matter anyway. I mean, every, every Nigerian I used to meet, everybody's getting arrested, it's normal. Why do you think content creators are associated a lot these days with cybercrime? There's a lot of people who just believe. Oh. There's a lot of people who believe you could do this content creation to cover up, you know, whatever it is you do on the background. Why do you think that's? Because a lot of people believe it, especially because of how much <laughs> money we see we chop now. Is well, that something? Do you think maybe you need to be more open about, you know, sort of funds that come in, or is there really some truth to it? Do you think? Yeah. You know, like, no to, be, to, to be, I'll be very outspoken. Yeah. yeah. I don't care what everybody thinks they can think about. Still, I feel like they still deserve so I, not like they totally deserve, but let me just do it. Um, let's use music and uh, skip making, for example. Let's say an let's say an upcoming, I, I don't want to mention names in music, an an upcoming musician with five hundred thousand followers could buy a car today. Like, oh, congratulations. Congratulations. But me with the two point five million followers buys a car, they'll be like, eh, Yahoo. So, for, for, so here's the difference. For people so, who... So let me, 
for mm. the artists, maybe they think, oh, he performs at shows, yes. he gets paid, but we that's, don't see you guys perform. That's what I'm so saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. So people don't understand the revenue. But back to back, they see us make adverts on pages. Back to back, they see us on YouTube. But people don't, or like, or like the artists, we can assume what they, what they get paid. We don't know. Like that's, now, I've asked you, you did not tell me. No, but, no, but I explained how we make money. You said how, Streams, you didn't say how much. No, but artists don't even tell you how much to make. Oh, but it's sort of an open secret in the industry. Well, like, kind of no, know. you that are into the industry will have idea. But let's say you know a person don't know how much the industry that charges yeah. for a show. But people that are in the industry might have an idea because they're booking for events. But the audience don't know how much the industry that charges or how much the Roma charges. But they know that Roma is a big boy, Bella is a big boy. Yeah. Do you understand? So they don't tell them their price. So but when comedy is like, everything about comedy is joke. So do you understand? Even like when somebody says, I was harassed. You see the comment, uh, comment we'll say not be prank or So you don't really see comedy as a thing. This is like something that just meant to make, meant to make me laugh and nothing else should come after it. Yeah. So that's all. So does that's it bother you though? Yeah, that, it that does. perception. It does well because it, it affects both the relationship and every part of it. Friend, like, do you understand? Every people see you. Somebody will see you and be like, I'm fantastic. Make that funny run for me. I'm like, so I should come down from my car, lock my car to do the funny run to me. I'm not saying. But like, don't, and when they see you, they be like, no, be so, you suppose they know the front face, so you be funny guy, you like, someone now would say, hey, funny guy, they'll beat you up. I'm like, bro, <laughs> this comedy thing is really, so they just want you to be the clown every time. Yeah. So when they see clown making money, it doesn't make sense. Clown that is rich shouldn't be. Yeah. Thing. It, it you know, the artists have this, this look that, I want more man, this guy. Money day. Money day. But for the comedian, where is he having money from? Where? How? Fair enough. I want to ask you about something else that's, you know, came, came into the news like in the last week or so, you know, with the talk about the federal government trying to pass a bill uh, to ban cross-dressing. Mm. And if you cross-dress, you get six months in jail. <laughs> now, content creators in the comedy space have been accused a lot, you know, mm. of always appropriating you know, women's sort of lifestyle and clothing and all of that to be funny. They always say, oh, is it that you cannot be funny if you don't wear a woman's clothes? A lot of you, you and your colleagues do mm. it, you know, where you have to dress up like a woman and all of that. Why do you, do you think it's fair? Uh, it's a fair judgment when they say you people appropriate, you know, women's lifestyle to be funny and you can't be funny without, you know, pretending to be women. And why do you think that continues to happen? Or do you think this, this bill, if it passes, will affect you know, the industry as a well. whole. Well, Plenty of questions. I don't, I don't really have, I, I, do, I don't want to answer, but I'm going to say a little thing here. Yeah? You know, this, this dressing of the thing, the man dressing like a woman, yeah. not just, it, it goes both ways, actually, because there's some ladies in the industry that put up jackets, do fake mustache, try yeah. to, but I feel like, here, yeah, I feel like there is a, you know, in this, in the world of acting, yeah, I can play the role of a madman, doesn't make me a madman. Yeah. I can be a doctor, doesn't actually make me a doctor. I can be, well, I can wear a lady's outfit, but I hope you understand what I was trying to do in that kind of, in the story I'm telling. Not like on a normal day, she wanted to put on the lady's outfit, no. It's just like the nature of my job states that I am free to explore in different ways. Do you understand? In a different way that, oh, this is what I'm trying to say, but this is not who I am. Because in my skit, I play the role of a robbery, doesn't make me an arm robber. I've done stealing, I've, in general, I've different kind of things. But speaking of um, the government aspect of it, trying to pull me, you know, like, it's, it's the government. I am not black, I'm an individual. No matter even if I say, no, I don't feel like it's, it's, it's not right, or it's right. Whatever the government says will stand. Even if I raise play cards on the road and say I don't support it, oh, I support it. The government will be like, sit your ass down, boy. Whatever I stay stands. So I feel like I don't really have a say. But deep down, I know what I want. Do you think it would affect the industry, though? Yeah, I feel like it's going to affect the industry, to be honest, because a lot of people, like, you know, comedy is, uh, I don't know how to, I don't know in English, really, like, people like me for different things. I know a lot of people that have that, that have built their fan base, yeah. dressing, being a cross-dresser. I know people that have built their fan base just dressing like me. So if you ban, just like when Twitter was banned, I know a lot of people that lost their job because they do advert on Twitter and different things. So imagine... If you ban, if you put a bill to like a ban to it, it's going to affect someone. I, mean, I believe it's a must. It must affect someone. Yeah, definitely. So, but like I said, if I stand against it or I support it, either ways, I don't have the final say. The government does. I mean, I live in their country. I'm not a citizen, but I'm not a leader of this country. Are you happy with where your career is? 
right now? Yeah, 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 I'm actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not where I want to be now, but I mean, I'm making progress. Where do you want to be? Are you, are you thinking of going mainstream? Because comedy was always stand-up or sitcoms. Yeah. Now there's this online aspect to it, which a lot of people didn't take seriously for a long time. They didn't yeah. think you guys were comedians. Mm. I guess people are a little more accepting now. Is the goal to branch into these other ones? Are you planning to go mainstream acting okay. at any point? So, What's the plan? So, so basically, yeah, aside from the business part of it, which is as me as a, as a person, yeah. I'm also trying to have like a business that doesn't have to do with entertainment also. Okay. You know, like I said, we're trying to get build like more streams of income. Like this, I'm saying a lot of audience don't know about this. So tomorrow, if I buy a car, I'm like, hey, Yahoo boy. But let's keep, boy, but let's keep that aside. So I'm trying to go into. Um, I'm trying to produce my movie, okay. comedy films. Yeah, I'm trying to be the best content creator that I can ever come out of Africa. Also, then that's it. Yeah, being the best content creator and also trying to produce produce comedy movies. Do you think content creation is here to stay? Yeah, it should. Yeah, it do you think it's something it you can do long term? It is already, actually. Yeah. I mean, TikTok even, even made it worse now. Like, TikTok made you understand that yo, anybody can be creators. Yeah. Because we, cause you're the um, algorithm goes on, on TikTok, like, people can just become, and it's really amazing. I'm like, oh, there are more people, because I enjoy a lot of people content on TikTok. You know, like, TikTok has a different feel with Instagram, such as Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Twitter has its own, every app has its own vibe, but on Every app you see their own celeb. Twitter will have their own celebrities on Twitter. On Instagram they have their own celeb. On Facebook they are their own boss. Mm -hmm. here. YouTube have their own, you know, there's YouTubers and here. So I'm happy that content creators is content creators platforms. becoming a thing. There's more platform to express yourself. If you feel like Instagram doesn't favor you, TikTok will. If you feel like TikTok is too stressful, Twitter will. If not even favor you, I think you, you, you need to go and see your pastor. This is a special thing. <laughs> Who are people you look up to in your, in your space? <clears throat> if you still do, or you did look up to? Okay, yeah, I looked up to, and I looked up to um, Chris Klein. I mean, he's one of the, you know, like the pioneers of this industry, the skate making industry. So, um, big shout out to him. Anyway, I got almost said, big shout out to him. I mean, even after then, he still came back to Nigeria. So he, he called me, said me, said chill with us, and like, you know, give us like word of advice how the thing has been for the, sharing his own experience so we don't make the same mistake he did, and also teach us some certain things how to become a better creator in this space. Yeah, and also big shout out to Shaggy because sometimes, yeah, you know, I feel like, oh, I don't tire. Shaggy will let you know that you want tire. Ow. Shaggy just lets everyone know that oh, you don't need to rest. Until the back Constantly is working. Let's work. Yeah. You are still young. Why do you, are you 70 years old? No, you're not 70, you're not 90. Yeah. <laughs> you are still under 20, so I mean. Have you had moments in your career that you look back on and I know a lot of people like to say they don't regret anything, but are there skits you've done or moments in your career you look back and you're like, yeah, maybe that was not a good one. Um, or you've learned from. Oh, yes. I mean, like, you know, it's uh, the process. We're learning in the process. And I'm glad that no matter how, how bad you are, not how stubborn you are, like, no, 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 I'm right. If you really come and look at what these people are saying, out of 100%, I believe mean, there's like a 50% truth in it. Yeah. Even if you have your own side of the story, but like, understand what they're saying and make yourself a better person. So you don't, you know, like, these days, um, like, my manager was like telling me that we we're having a conversation. Um, way back to when you, you call somebody a robot. It's not a thing, yeah. but now it's a thing. She let me know that it's not like it was not a thing then. Those that attention was not given to it. So it's so people are not opening up, but now you understand that Orobo is now uh, is now body shaming. So we are actually learning a lot, actually. So like way back then, like when like when we are younger, like what you just call something like what you are doing laughing, but you don't know that the person deep down is feeling yeah. somebody calling somebody uh, 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 blacky, you too black, like. Some people, like, but you don't have laugh. You don't know how it's really affecting them. So she lets me know that they are being affected so that they don't open up to you. But these days, everyone says, hey, you don't call me that. Yeah. I'm offended by those things. And I'm glad that people are there. Unless you are feeling too stubborn, then they'll put you in your place. They'll put you in your place since you are feeling too, too stubborn. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nasty Black. Good Thank luck you. with everything. I'm a huge fan. Um, Thank you so much. Keep visiting your page mm -hmm. and keep oh, making that money so much, off air. I know you will tell me how much you're collecting. <laughs> and I'll tell you the next thing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>